Zippier than a zipper. More relevant than last year's textbook. Able to stop STIs in their tracks. This is Quick Zips, the late night edition. Sexuality education, fast. I'm Galena Mines, and welcome to our show. We have another catch-all question today. Viewers ask about a lot of different STIs, particularly viral ones. Nasty little boogers. The viruses, not our viewers, of course. So today's question captures them all. What are viral STIs? A bit of background. There are three types of infection you can get from sexual activity. Parasitic, bacterial, and viral. A viral STI is a sexually transmitted infection that is caused by a virus. You may know that bacteria are microscopic single-cell organisms. They are really small. Viruses are even smaller, about a hundred times smaller than bacteria. They cause many common human infections, such as the common cold and chickenpox. Unlike bacteria, viruses cannot reproduce on their own. Instead, they hijack host cells. That is, they take control and use your body cells to do their dirty work. Unlike parasites, viruses cannot crawl about and hang out on objects outside the body because they have to remain on a host cell to stay alive. But as long as they have a host cell to travel with, viruses can move from place to place and person to person. So if body fluid, like blood, semen, or vaginal fluid is passed from one person to another, such as in sexual contact, whammo, the virus can make its move. Viruses are also big fans of skin-to-skin -skin contact. If someone has an infected sore or pimple and that sore touches your skin, like when getting close during sex, whammo again, the virus can make its move. Viruses are especially fond of mucous membranes in and around the mouth, nose, genitals, and anus. These have larger pores and allow the bad guys to enter the body more easily. So, viral sexually transmitted infections are infections caused by viruses that are transmitted through sexual contact. Viruses can also catch a ride on body fluid inside medical needles, which means that if people are sharing injectable drugs, they can pass an infection around. Needles for tattoos and piercings can do this too if they're not sterile. The most common viral STIs are the three H's, human papillomavirus, aka HPV, herpes simplex virus, or HSV, aka herpes, and human immunodeficiency virus, aka HIV. These are three very bad H's. So much trouble from one little letter. Let's run these guys down one at a time. It's time for American Viral. Who's the worst of the three H's? Let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant is HPV, also known as the wart maker. HPV frequently gives you warts or bumps on your genitals, including the cervix and anus. They can get really big but tend to be small, often unnoticeable. Sometimes when you get HPV, it won't give you warts. You won't even know you have it, but you can still pass it to others. Worse than warts, some types of HPV can cause cancer, and there's no curing this H. Let's hear it for human papillomavirus. Definitely not cool. Listen up, ladies, there is a new cervical cancer vaccine just for girls, and it can help prevent the most common types of HPV infection that cause cancer. You might want to ask a health care provider about it. Our second contestant comes straight to you from your genitals, your mouth, and even your eyes. That's right, it's herpes. Herpes usually comes with a bonus gift, a small, very painful blister that, when popped, oozes a bit of pus. With or without the blister, and regardless of whether the blister has been popped or not, herpes is extremely contagious. As many as one in five people have contracted herpes. Just like HPV though, you can't tell by looking because the blisters go away for a while. But they'll be back, and some people never have symptoms at all. That doesn't stop Mr. Painful Blista from coming to some genitals near you. And get this, you know that cold sore you see friends sometimes get on their mouths? That may be a type of herpes too, and guess what? Oral sex, yep, it'll spread that cold sore places where you really don't want it. And it can work the other way too, from genitals to your mouth. Let's hear it for herpes! Our final contestant is HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. HIV is transmitted through oral, anal and penile vaginal sex and other activities that share body fluids. This bad guy doesn't bother with blisters or warts. It causes AIDS, the acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Early symptoms of HIV are flu-like. 
causing a person to feel tired or nauseous. That's it. It's hard for someone to even know he or she had HIV at first, and you absolutely can't tell by looking. Over time, however, HIV weakens your immune system so you can't fight other infections. Eventually, you get full-blown AIDS and your body can no longer fight infections that people who haven't been infected with HIV can fight off easily. There is no cure. Even with medication, your body will eventually be overwhelmed and you will die. HIV's one weakness, it can't live long outside the body. So, it's a bit more difficult to transmit than HPV and herpes. So, which contestant will it be, Galena? They are all horrible. I don't want to deal with any of them. Send them away. Let's recap. Viral STIs don't necessarily cause symptoms, so you may not know you are infected. And you certainly can't tell if someone else is infected just by looking at him or her. So, if you are sexually active, you need to go to the doctor regularly to be tested. Once you have a viral STI, you will have it for the rest of your life. Unlike parasitic and bacterial STIs, there is no cure for viral STIs. But there are medicines that can help keep you healthier and reduce the symptoms of viral STIs, especially if the infection is diagnosed early, although they cannot make the infection leave your body. All viral STIs can be avoided by not engaging in any sexual activity, that is, by being abstinent from all types of sexual contact. If you do have sexual contact, you can reduce your risk of infection by using latex condoms correctly during every sexual encounter. That's it for this segment of Quick Zips, the late night edition. Remember the three H's, herpes, HPV, and HIV. Not good. Once you have a viral STI, you have it for life. No unprotected sexual or skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected person and no needles equals no viral STI for you. Be safe. See you next time. This episode of Quick Zips is brought to you by The Blue Streak. I would like to remind you that if you accidentally start applying a condom the wrong way, Throw it out. Otherwise, what was outside will be inside, and what's inside will be on you.